All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Daniel Cormier and Stipe Miocic. He is the UFC heavyweight champion, Croatian-American Stipe Miocic. He wanted to be a professional baseball player, but ultimately left that goal in pursuit of mixed martial arts glory. And you all remember when he knocked out Fabricio Verdum in Brazil, no less, to realize that UFC heavyweight gold in 2016. They are still all chasing Stipe Miocic in this UFC heavyweight division. This guy is a ground and pound expert. His specialty is controlling fighters and utilizing ruthless, destructive ground and pound techniques. Well, Daniel Cormier is inching closer to the end of his professional career. Those are his words, not mine. But this is a man who may just go down as the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighter of all time. He became a simultaneous two-division champion when he beat Stipe Miocic. That was July of 2018. And tonight, Daniel Cormier looks to continue what is one of the best legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. Daniel Cormier is one of the best wrestlers to ever compete in the UFC's heavyweight division. And with that work ethic, he has brought his striking up to an elite level as well. He is amongst the very best in the sport. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miocic is 35, Cormier is 38. Miocic will have the eight inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding professional record on 18 wins, three losses. He stands. 64 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Body of Independence, Ohio, Steve And now with the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Daniel D.C. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, here we go. So three-rounder for the UFC light heavyweight champion, Danny Cormier, here tonight. So figures to be able to really put it all together over 15 minutes. You'll probably see north of 10 takedown attempts. The question is, will he be able to get this particular foe to the ground? Immediately shoots for the leg. Oh, that's some wrestling right there. Working from the mounted crucifix. Going for the arm here. He's get the double wrist lock here. He's got the hand on the wrist. What he wants to do is clasp his other hand on his forearm. That's where the leverage comes from. Then he wants to pull the elbow close towards the body. And he gets out. I thought he was going to have to tap. Wow. Side control. Miocic gets back up. Back into his comfort zone.
They're canceling each other out. Oh, they're gonna stand him up. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's gonna pay the price there to the body. Gotta be careful. You don't wanna eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Oh, hammer fist here by DC. And back up again. Going for the single leg right now. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. Nice. Lead kick is true there by Miacic. Put the guard beautifully there. Good kick by DC. Nice brawl. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Landed that one. Really threw everything into that uppercut and fell short. Cormier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Good inside leg kick by DC. Twenty seconds to go in round one. He lands an elbow here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's moved back into side control once more. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Oh, connects with the one-two. There's a single attempt. Another takedown for Daniel Cormier. Oh, absolutely, Joe. The takedowns have been on point. And he landed the right hand there. Good defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. Now he gets the full mount again. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. He transitions to half guard. And now he's working from side control. He's established mounted crucifix. Oh, and now an elbow up top by DC. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Side control again. He gets the mounted crucifix. Holding him here, moving to north-south position. From the north-south position to get the choke, what he wants to do is get his arm under the back of the neck. Once he's got the arm under the back of the neck, locking it in place, he needs to get his left hand and his right hand together. So he has to move the other arm out of the way, clasp the two hands. He got it, he got it. it. Nicely done. He got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. To claim the winner by tap out, Daniel D.C. So a big win here in defense of his title, UFC light heavyweight king Daniel Cormier. This is a man who is as smart as he is tough, and he knows exactly how to game plan for the particular challenge in front of him. Very clean effort out of DC here tonight to retain the UFC light heavyweight title.